What's up, guys? Deluscus. Um, so, E3, uh, I just, I believe it just ended, um, but what I'm going to talk about was a few days ago. Um, it is the 21st of June, um, so like two, three days ago, um, they released the trailer. Well, it was like, not really a trailer, it was gameplay for uh, the new God of War, God of War 4. Um, I don't... I don't know, I guess I'm biased because I like the originals, um, but I don't like, I like the idea of the, him going and he's in, like, Norse mythology because I personally love Norse, Norse, Norse mythology. I think it's really cool uh, and it's very interesting to me. Um, so I kind of, I'll probably buy it for that aspect, see what they do. I... And I don't care, I'm not upset that he has a kid. That doesn't bother me because he had children before and they were murdered, you know, with his wife and stuff. Um, the thing I didn't like is all the change, the, some of the changes they made. Some of them I thought were really cool, some of them were not stupid, some of them were stupid. Like uh, Spartan, no, Spartan Rage, they changed that and it's kind of more like a cutscene now, more than like quick time events. Uh, and you're not, it, from what they've shown, um... It didn't really seem like oh, as badass as it used to be. Um, he got rid of uh, the Swords of Chaos. Swords of Chaos? I think that's what they're called. But his his dual blades that were chained to his arms and he would spin and they'd light on fire. Um, they abandoned those and he has like from in the in the in the uh, gameplay that they showed, uh, he had an axe and then it had like frost thing, you know. And it's only one from what they've showed so far. It was only the axe and like you get a bow every. You know, you get a bow. Uh, it's not the bow that you had in the older games. And it is not any of the weapons so far that you get in the other games. It's that axe so far as I've seen. Um, and I don't like that because the ga the fighting mechanic that they had was great with the duel. Uh, because you could do a you know, wide area of damage. Um against enemies so now it's going to be more up close which that's also a good thing um get it more close quarters um it looked like the camera kind of would be a trick uh it, but it, it looking at it, it kind of reminded me of the newer tomb raiders the way it, it's all set up uh they changed whew, they changed the uh the hud um and one of the one of the things that really one of the things that really bothered me, it wasn't the kid, uh, it wasn't the time change, it was his redesign. Uh, he has a new voice actor from what it sounds like. And if you look at the photo side by side of God of War 3 and this one, there are a lot of difference. Head shape is different. His cheeks are more filled out, which that could be, you know, weight gain, whatever. Um, his marks. Um, in God of War 3, they go to about here. We know. Yeah, about here, and then in the photos of, and it's the same exact photo, it's front face, not like in the game, it's the concept, well, the, uh, not the concept, the model, um, and, and the older one, it's the scars, you know, not the scar, the mark is to here, and in the new one, it's up here with the beard. His eyes, uh, in the original one were a very, very dark brown, in the new one, they're kind of like a hazel, like a hazel, like light hazel brown. Um, the scar is lightened, which that makes sense because time has passed. Um, but they added the beard, which the beard isn't a big thing to me. Um, but it's more like if you if you see him, it's like, okay, that's Kratos because, you know, the marks and the scars and all that, and, you know. Uh, but if you really break down into it, they have almost completely changed him. Um, like, especially that mark thing, that really bugged me because that was like since day one, his mark has been always the same. It's been to here. And now it's all the way up here. You know, at first, when I saw it, I was like, okay, you know, maybe this is his brother. Because his brother had a beard and a full head of hair, if I remember right. Um, <laughs> whoa, sorry, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but, so, that really bothered me. And then they changed the voice actor. Like, it's not very hard to get the same guy. Yeah, he may have a busy schedule because maybe he's more well-known than he was. Um, but I mean, you just make it work because he is an influential part. The voice has always been the same. Even in the P in PSP games, if I remember right, the voice is the same. And for you to take 
Kratos and change him that much instead of just like a reskin like okay add a beard age him up a little bit send him out you know you're good um it was a very 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 interesting decision um and again the the Norse change to Norse mythology makes sense because he killed all the Greek gods now maybe what they could have done instead of that is maybe like do so you know, oh you can do this and go back in time and you know stop your family from dying that would have been cool i would have liked that um but the norse one i'm kind of excited to see how it plays out but it really really bugs me like so far it's only i think a 10 minute gameplay video but still in the 10 minutes that I saw it, yeah, it had those, like, God of War elements of, like, oh, yeah, he's brutal. But it was kind of like, this isn't God of War. It, you know, it's not the Kratos I know. And it's like, really? Like, in the gameplay, he throws his axe and it hits an, an enemy and it freezes him. And the axe is stuck. And then he goes over to another one and punches, you know, not, like, getting a fist fight. But he, like, punches him and kills him. And that, it was kind of like... I don't want to get into fist fights with people. I want to fucking cut them open, you know? You're Kratos. You're the most badass, brutal motherfucker. Like, I don't understand why. Like, yeah, okay, he's gone through all this period in time, but he could keep those weapons, and they would not, like, have aged bad enough to where they would, oh, fuck, they wouldn't exist. Like, I don't understand it. Yeah, maybe it's because, like, you know, we want to re- repackage it, redo it, and redistribute it to a new audience. But the same audience is still here. It's only been like... Okay, don't quote me on this, but like seven years since the last one. Like last major console one. Like, yeah, there's been the PSP ones. But like, and since the last like console, I think I think it was like 2009. Uh, it might it might have been sooner, it might have been later. I'm not sure. I'm just doing a guesstimate. But it's not been that long. It's not like it was Duke Nukem and it was like 20 years ago. Like... The audience is still the same. We've waited for another game, hoping there'd be another game we see Kratos again. And I'm really bummed. Like, I want to buy it just to see if it's as bad as I think it could be. But I'm buying, I'm going to buy it to see if it is better. But, I mean, from what I've seen, yeah, I'm like, okay, this, you know, it's Kratos. Fuck yeah, he's back. But it's like, but he's kind of not. It's, it's, it's different, and I don't, and I'm not saying change is bad, I'm just saying a change this drastic to something that's unnecessary. Like, you could have, yeah, okay, you can put him in time, that's not a big thing, because he's immortal. He's, the well, he's not the god of war anymore, but he, he is, you know, he is immortal now. So that makes sense. The aging, I get that, because it's like couple hundred years and I'm not a couple but I don't know the exact time between the Greeks and the, you know the Norse people um so but like for him for them to take elements and change them like okay I get like we have to show that corner of the mark under the, you know above the beard you don't have to we know it's Kratos like you don't have to change that and shorten it for a beard that makes no fucking sense for real like just put it under the beard we know it ends there we know what the fuck Kratos looks like I mean why get rid of all the weapons he's had since day one like yeah maybe they not might not fit or whatever but from what I'm seeing so far it looks stupid without it like and then it's kind of more like third person Compared to before, it was kind of, you know, you were kind of far away from him until, like, you know, it was something you needed to see, which I kind of like that one better because I could get an overview of my surroundings and it's kind of like, okay, maybe there's something here, maybe there's something there. This one, it's more like, it looks almost open world, which I kind of, is like, that sounds cool, having an open world, but then it's like, it'll, like, take a long time, and I don't know, it's just like, I don't... No, it it seems unnecessary to me. Like, it isn't needed. You could make, like, like with Halo, you could make 
you know, the remastered version, and I would buy it, and it would be badass, because it's familiar. And I'm not saying they could never change it. Like, yeah, you could change it, and it could work. But I don't think changing it this much will work. Like, when I get it, when it comes out, and I get it, and I play it, I will know for sure. But as of this moment, I'm, like, kind of bubbed out. Fuck. I'm, like, bummed out at this fucking game because Kratos was really important to me. Like, you know, it was kind of like... With all the bullshit I was going through, I could play God of War and it'd be like, I'm fucking gonna fucking kill you and this and that. You know, and it'd make me feel better. And it's kind of like, that was like, this is badass. You know, I want to be fucking Kratos and do whatever the fuck I want. And then now it's kind of like, Kratos in Skyrim. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, Maybe it shouldn't be God of War anymore, like, you know, because Norse mythology doesn't really have a God of War, um, from what I understand, and I can't remember at this moment, maybe they do, I do not remember right now, uh, it's pretty late at night, but, I mean, you know, I don't know, but that's just my opinion on it, I... But, like, if you really look at the pictures, there are a lot of differences. Like, even the nose shape. Like, the nose shape is close, but his nose is wider on the bottom in the new one. His ears are totally different. Eye color is different. Um, his br eyebrow, you know, not his eyebrows themselves, but, like, you know, the structure of his brow is different. His eyes are a diff, like, a way, way, way lighter color. Like, before they were, like, dark Kershey chocolate. And now they're kind of like when you get like uh, like a crunch bar and you p crack it in the inside. That's kind of what his eyes look like, like that color. So it's really, really different. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, I think even his lips are different. But, I mean, it's kind of just like unnecessary. Like, you don't have to do that. We would buy it fucking the same as it was before. And you didn't have to change shit and do as much as a change. So it's, as of this moment, it's really hit or miss, and it seems more like a miss to me, um, and then I'll update this when the game actually comes out, uh, but that's just my opinion on it.